guys, Evie here. One of my subscribers requested a video on the nail salon feature. So in this video, I will show you a simple preview of how it works. This will not be a complete guide because we're still at least a month away from getting manicures in the game. I will post detailed guides and tips on this once the devs announce its release. Hello again, Editing Evie here. This is a pretty complete guide. I started with a brief guide but packed more information as I was recording and made it an almost comprehensive guide. I'll make a first day guide once the devs announce this feature to guide you through your first day, but this guide will probably answer all your questions for now. Feel free to ask me additional questions in the comments or message me on Discord, and I will be happy to help. Okay, now back to the video. First, I have some speculations on the release date of the nail salon on Global. The short answer is, I think it's going to release between September 5th to 25th. The reasoning behind my guess is that the Japanese server launched on March 18th, 2021, and the nail salon feature was released on June 30th, about two and a half months after the initial launch. However, I think our progress might be faster than the Japanese server because Candy Street and Eri released on April 2018, more than a month after they launched the Japanese server. But we got Candy Street and Eri precisely one month after the launch of Global, so getting our own nail salon may just be about a month or so away. Let's now move on to the gameplay. The Nail Salon will be our new daily and weekly. You can enter the salon from Design Center, and it will appear at the bottom below Workshop and Colors Newsroom, right here. Click on this, and it will bring us to this page. Let me explain the features from top to bottom. On the top right corner, we can study future nail sets here, similar to our current guild makeup study, only the nail items directly provide you with styling scores, so the rarity matters in this case. There are four types of manicures available. First, sets that came with your nail salon can be unlocked using a nail salon coin and another type of exclusive nail currency which you'll obtain through dailies and weeklies. You can fully unlock these sets to 100% by using currencies given in the game. Don't do this yet though, I'll, I will explain why later. The second type is purchasable sets from Held's nail shop. There are currently two SSR sets and one UR set in this nail shop. The third type of manicures is from Pavilions, the classic shiny Nikki way of obtaining anything good. There will be a permanent pavilion and event pavilion. To unlock all branches and get the maximum styling power possible for the pavilion manicures, you need to pull duplicates of the same sets to unlock more items and increase the styling power for a particular set. There is another way to get these dupes easier, which we'll discuss in the upcoming shop section. However, this additional method only applies to permanent pavilion sets, but I'll explain later in detail. Lastly, free event manicure sets that you can exchange with tickets that drop when you clear daily stages or other similar methods like welfare events. Then after you clear all the stages and obtained all the tickets, you can basically exchange and unlock everything from that certain manicure set. The trick is in the manicure study to save up nail salon currencies required for unlocking nail items and only unlock UR sets fully. Let me show you what a regular set of manicures look like. So this is an SSR manicure. You're usually required to unlock these to 50% as one of the prerequisites le to level up your nail salon. So leveling up to 50% is leveling up everything in the blue section. Well, darker blue section. And then these are all the additional nail items. It will recolor your nail and make this particular set of nails stronger, but we don't usually use SSR nail packs nail sets sorry we don't really use ssr nail sets right now in the game at this point we're all using urs so even if you're a f2p player i think you'll be able to complete at least one ur set at this point but if you're impatient or if you want better scores i'd say unlock a really good ssr first 
and use it for a while, then unlock UR slowly, but just don't go around unlocking everything. Okay, now the next button is House Nail Shop, right here. It has four tabs on the top. From left to right, the shop itself. Permanent Pavilion. Oh, sorry, the image is not loading. Okay, now it's loaded. This is a Permanent Pavilion. Limited Edition Pavilion. Past Limited Edition Pavilions. The countdown on the top of the shop is where you can claim a free pavilion ticket every 48 hours. 41 hours. I think around that amount. I forgot the exact time, but it's definitely more than 24 hours. Then the option to purchase 5 nail pavilion tickets with Hout's gift voucher. Each costs 6 vouchers. Let's do that right now. All right, next stop. Um, not right here, but here because I've already exchanged everything. The two SSR manicure sets and the one UR sets. You can purchase these with this house gift voucher thing, which you can also get from dailies and weeklies. Do not purchase the SSR sets before the UR. Save up for the UR set and purchase that first. Okay, go back to the study page once you've purchased these and you still need to unlock the branches in order to gain styling points for a specific manicure. I've already unlocked mine, so I can't really show you how it works, but it's fairly easy to understand and I bet you will get what it means when you actually do it on your own. It won't require extra currencies to unlock just the manicure packs you bought from Health's shop. It will cost more manicure packs of the same kind to unlock more branches to get the full potential of a certain set. Then, hold on, let me go back to the shop. Then you can purchase SR, SSR, and UR material packs. Once you purchase these, they will appear in your items list. Let's go back to the home page. Click on your avatar on the top right corner, top left corner, sorry, and items at the bottom. It will be slightly different from our global server because they just updated the UI on the Chinese servers, but it's this thing right here. I think you guys all know what this is. You will get the choice of a material pack, which you can use to unlock additional branches of manicure sets. These ones right here, you get to pick from any of the permanent pavilion sets. I only buy the UR one because you will most likely to have already completed all the other sets when you try to complete the UR sets in the permanent pavilion. There is also a limit of two material packs a week, so make sure to purchase these every week. This little heart thingy is a currency used to unlock manicure sets. I never purchased these. Lastly, you will be able to purchase a currency called the Proof of Time with 10 house gift vouchers to bring back a past limited edition pavilion in the fourth tab. These ones right here. Then let's move on to the pavilions. All pavilions share the same nail salon pavilion ticket, like how Seal Fantasy guarantees an SSR and above item when you pull 10, the manicure pavilions give you an UR item when you do a pull 10. The permanent pavilion has 86 items. Out of the 86 items, we have 3 UR manicure sets. 1, 2, and 3. 5 ISR sets and three SSR sets. It will usually take about 350 to 400 pulls to complete this pavilion. Each pull costs 30 gems. A pull 10 costs 300 gems. You could purchase two 10 pulls at 20% off every week if you had the privilege card. They cost 240 each. Oh, I just did a pull 10. I didn't mean to do a pull 10. I was gonna show you the privilege card. So they cost 240 each. 
so it will cost about 10,000 to 12,000 pink gems to complete the permanent pavilion. This is only the cost for obtaining main branches for each nail set though. I forgot how many poles it takes to complete all three UR sets at 100%. It would be best if you unlock them 100% to get the full styling power by the way. The other way to help you unlock all branches is by purchasing those weekly UR material packs I mentioned earlier. Next, the third tab on the top is our limited edition pavilion. Limited edition pavilions usually come with a main UR set with an SSR and an SR manicure set. All the pull counts estimates are on the UR set because the SSR and SR sets are fairly easy to pull. It takes about 110 to 160 pulls to complete a limited edition pavilion. By completion, I meant unlocking main branches of the UR set, which will show up as 50%. When you pull in the limited edition and permanent pavilions, you're technically pulling for materials, and when you obtained a certain item, come back to the nail study part and don't forget to actually study it. When you actually study it, it'll increase the stat of a certain set. And if you don't study it, it won't add any stat to your set. So then it will take about 340 to 400 pulls to unlock all UR branches. This is a really rough estimate because I don't pull everything in one sitting as the limited edition pavilions usually stay for more than a month. And here you can see I pulled four extra packs for this certain set and I can unlock something that is from the set. I haven't decided which one I want it yet, so we're not going to do it in the video. The fourth tab is where you can summon past limited edition manicure pavilions. Use your proof of time purchase from House Nail Shop here to get a past pavilion back. Then you can pull with regular nail pavilion tickets to get sets from a specific past pavilion. I, I, I forgot how long it brings a pavilion back for. Let's try it out. Okay, it brings it back for 45 days. And then you get to pull with the normal ticket for nail pavilions. Please like, comment, subscribe, or share my video if you can because I always use my own game materials to test these. I've never summoned the limited edition pavilions back before because I can always complete these pavilions before they end. But anyways, let's go back to the video. The next button in time is where you enter weekly manicure styling competitions. Let's click on this and I'll show you around. It shows you the current popular works right now when you enter this page. Right here is where they put the weekly themes. All the interactive buttons are on the bottom. From left to right, popular designs your daily or weekly mission list. So the left side shows you what you can get this week and the right shows you the overall growth rewards. You will gain experiences based on how high you rank on the manicure design competition and you can claim the corresponding reward when you reach a certain amount of experiences. The blue button is where you can rate other players' nail designs. Like so. I shouldn't have given it perfect. Okay, this deserves a perfect. All right, and then the pink button at the right is where you style your manicure set to enter the competition. Don't judge my pole party design, please. I got too tired of designing manicures, so now I just put an entire set of manicures on Nikki and call it a day. Okay, let's go back to the weekly task list and I'll show you some of the rewards and requirements. There are tasks such as entering the competition and rating other players works. As you can see I just rated two works and I fulfilled this exact task. Let's claim it. Then they will give you rewards like tickets to the pavilions and some currencies to use in exchanging more free manicure sets. So make sure to do this every week and come back to read other players for three days so you can, you can obtain all the weekly rewards. 
The fourth button DIY is where you set your nail design presets, like the different outfit options in the dressing room. You have a total of six slots when you purchase both the gem and privilege cards. Um, our UI would probably look a little bit different because I noticed that the Japanese server was different from the CN server. This is actually the first time I entered this page on the CN server, so I was a little bit shocked, but essentially it works about the same. And sometimes the gloves Nikki is wearing will block the manicures, so click here to change her outfit, like in the dressing room. You can take pictures with different poses, including hand poses right here. You can also add these little frames to show one particular design. And then how do I go back? Okay, right here. And last but not least, visit your nail salon here to do your dailies. You will see this page when you enter your salon every time after reset. It offers you the option to open your shop, meaning do all your customers' nails manually or hire an employee. On the top right corner is your shop's name, level, and experiences needed to level right here. I'm currently at level 51 and I need more nail salon currencies to level up my salon. The coins I've been mentioning. You can gain these currencies or coins passively every day at the bottom left corner, sorry, bottom right corner and complete customers manicures. To get to the next level, you will also need to unlock a certain manicure to 50%, meaning you only unlock the main skill tree. Remember to check this section often because if you are super close to leveling up and have too many coins to claim at the bottom right corner, you will lose all the surplus coins. You will gain two additional customers when reaching a new level or more gold from completing their request, leveling up the maximum nail salon coin storage. Once the maximum storage is filled, like what I have right now, it will not passively produce more coins. So make sure to claim them often when you're at a lower level. At my level, it will produce 50 coins per minute. Let's claim first so you can see the little timer right here. The little timer sets 50 coins per minute. On the left side, we have VIP customers. You will unlock VIP customers when you reach level four. I don't remember how many customers you get when you level up, but I'd say around two to four. They will give you more rewards than regular customers and they're great for when you want to level up your salon quickly. Let me show you how I get perfect ratings on these the lazy way. Oh, they give you extra manicure items too. Let me click on one. Okay, let's do her nails. So begin designing. They will ask for certain tags. I just sort the nail items by tags and put them on as many as possible. You also don't have to complete all nails. So once we fill this bar to perfect, we can click done and claim our rewards. Also, don't panic if you can't get perfect on the first try because you can always click on the telephone icon and get them back in the salon. After that, you have unlimited tries to redo their nails. Well, I'm not sure if there's a limit because I'm lazy and I never do it more than three times. I doubt you want to do it a hundred times though, so we'll take this as unlimited tries. Next button. Click on this to get two additional customers. If you have the privilege card, the first attempt is free. And the second attempt is 20 pink gems. Don't forget to take advantage of your privilege card and let Momo advertise for you daily. At the bottom, we have weekly rewards. When you reach 120 hearts from your customers, the hearts are basic reveals. You will get all weekly rewards, including house gift voucher to use in the shop, the coins and that heart thingy to unlock more nail items. Okay, now let's do my dailies together. 
I stopped doing the manicures manually when I reached level 7 because I'm lazy, but we're going to do it manually today for you guys. I'll show you the manual option first and hire an employee on my alt later so you can see how both of these work. We'll only have the manual option till we hit level 7. I think it's level 7, but I could be wrong. Okay, click on welcome guests. This is a really bad direct translation, sorry. You can't open your salon from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m., so make sure to clear your dailies before 4 a.m. You will get five customers every day, two additional customers when you level up your salon that day. I always click on welcome guests and immediately return to the homepage. That way I can do their nails all together. They usually appear slowly, so when they appear, you can't return to the homepage anymore and it wastes so much time. So I prefer to have them line up and wait for me. Let's try crafting the new workshop suit released today while waiting for the customers to show up. Okay, now they've all arrived and waiting. Waiting doesn't affect rating by any way. We can click here and start working. They will ask for specific tags and we'll all have a budget. Our job is to complete their nail at the highest rating possible and give them the most expensive manicures of their lives because we want that gold. Don't exceed the budget though. In this case, this person asked for mature and shimmery manicures. So we're gonna give her that. We're going to first filter by tags. one by one and then pile a bunch of expensive stuff on her because we want that gold okay i usually put two to three items for each tag that way it's easier to complete um her requirement let's see what's more expensive is this more expensive? Yes, this is expensive. And now we can still, we can continue putting things on her. We'll go for the third tab. Never mind, scratch that idea. We're just gonna put the most expensive things in general on her. Let me see. Okay, 130. Okay. Now the total is at 860 gold. Let's put something else. 970 okay see i put an extra item on her and it says it's over her budget so i now deducted one heart from her rating so we're gonna take it off where is it yeah so now we just need something that's really that's cheaper let's find something that's cheaper Okay, well, let's do it precisely. <laughs> okay, we just need a 90 gold item and we will be all done. I can't find, oh, perfect. 1,170 gold and done. Now that we've gotten some good ratings, let's claim our weekly rating rewards here. Now this is only the start of the week, but as the week goes on, we'll be able to claim everything, even if we just use the free hire an employee option. Let me now show you the hire an employee option on my Japanese server account. Just go for the free one because both of them can fill the weekly rating rewards fully. I like to spend as little as possible in this game and hoard all kinds of resources. So yeah, I recommend going for the free option. She will give you a summary of the day after she completes all customers. I have a screenshot right here. So you can claim the rewards today or next time after the server refreshes, it doesn't make any difference. Or you can claim it right here, right now, if she's fast enough. Okay, we're finally done with this lengthy video. 
I hope you watched till the end and learned something about the upcoming nail salon gameplay. Please like, comment, subscribe, or share if you can. It will help me make better guides in the future. I'll show you some manicure sets here and take a little break from narrating. That was like writing a paper. Alright, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!